Heidi, hi, and good evening to you. Thank you so much for joining. Hey now, did my thumbs up, says Cindy already on my live. So thank you so much, Cindy, for that thumbs up already. She's anticipating that I'm going to be wonderful tonight. Thank you for watching on my channel. This is Esther at Stampin' Star Creations. So that's Stampin' without the G on the end. Because I'm an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator from um, in the UK. <laughs> I was going to explain about what Stampin' Up was. It's a craft company based in America, but there's demonstrators all over the UK, Austria, some European countries. Um, Australia and America. So today the plan is to play with a stamp set I've never played before. I'm borrowing it off a friend. So the joy of having a local friends and customers is we can borrow and share, <laughs> share the love of stamping. And I've got to borrow her stamp set, which is great because I had planned for tonight to be inspired by my curtains. Now, for ages I had a post-it note and it had the details of the lady that suggested I should do a one sheet wonder with my curtains. And now that I've tidied up a little bit, I can't find the note. So I'm so sorry. If it was you, please remind me. And so I'm going to be inspired by my curtains. And it literally just came to me because I was going to use a poppy stamp set, which was the closest thing that I had to my curtains, which was this one. But then. I just pulled these out because I was doing my team meeting and I said, oh, you know, I've got these to play with. And I was like, oh, stop press. These is what I need for my curtain one sheet wonder. Because look, they've got nice bold floral prints. And look, I even look, look at the leaves, the stripy leaves and even the centres. I can't believe it. So it's very exciting. It's all happening here. <laughs> Okay, we'll do a quick hello to those on the live. And if you're watching replay, hi, replay viewers. Lovely to see you. Thank you for joining. Ah, oh, Cindy's always liked my curtains. When we moved house, I got onto eBay and basically bought the majority of my curtains off eBay. Um, there was one I picked up from a jumble sale, which is great, fitted our living room. Uh, where was I? I was going to say hello. Hi, Cindy again. <laughs> hi, Kay, Michaela. Hey, Delinda. Delightful Delinda. Serene, hey Rosie, hey Janice, hey, hey Jackie, nice to see you, and hi Edith. Um, right, let's get started. I'm going to turn you around. Oop. Hello, there we go. Okay, sorry, I've got the wire trailing across. Why am I so bouncy tonight? There we go. And getting out some plain white paper. Now, this is sometimes known in the trade as a one sheet wonder where you start with a blank sheet of paper and you cover it in stamping. It means then you can chop it up into smaller pieces and turn it into um, smaller masterpieces, should I say. So let's call up another device because it's so much easier if I'm running two devices and then I can keep up with comments. So bear with me. The crafty party is starting. What? Has Janice made it? Not our Janice. Janice from Chazzle Chazzle Craft. Is she, she here? I'll believe that if I see it. Janice always comes late and she comes through the back door. So, hey Ellie. Well, it's the other Janice. Yeah, see. Janice is usually a late bird. Hi Joanna. Nice to see you. Is, is Janice from Jazzle Dazzle Craft here? You have to tell me. <laughs> okay, I can see my picture is very glitchy. H how am I doing for you lot? Am I glitchy? You were here earlier. Oh, she's here early. I better stop talking about her now. Um, see if I can, right, I can sort your settings out. That usually makes a difference. And it clears it up beautifully. There you go. Right, am I coming through all right? It's really glitchy for you. Let me just check my... Okay, is it better? Because it's better on my other device. I think I'm going to start getting things on blocks. 
Good. Okay. Good, good, good. Lovely. Right. Look, this flower is just perfect. I can't believe how like perfect this set is with curtains. <laughs> oh dear. So funny. You know, this time set, you know, I think with sets until you actually play with them. Don't knock it. I must admit, like, no, this isn't on my list. Don't really, you know, it's not up there. But uh, now I've got my hands on it, I'm thinking, ooh. See, even this one, I'm staring at my curtains going, oh, I can't believe how similar it is. Let me use this. Oh, actually, I could use this. Oh, I'm getting excited. Can you tell? <laughs> so those ones are going to be in black. That's going to be in black. That's going to be in black. Um, I am going to go, actually, I'm going to swap out the colour. So, oops. Don't break it, Esther, it's not yours. <laughs> okay, I'm going to swap it out for grey granite because looking at my curtains, they're actually a bit more grey granite. Now, grey granite and so saffron are colours that I reckon get a bit forgotten. Um, it's not good to forget colours, especially if you've got them in your stash. You've got to use them and love them. So the closest I could think of getting to I mean you might disagree I'm just going to swivel you around to my curtains a second very slowly now you'll have to tell me oh if you can see them what color blue do you think I mean I've got out pool party but we don't really have a blue close to that color the leaves are making it go very um um what's the word balmy blue yeah they're more of like a turquoisey colour so I thought I think I'm just going to use pool party right I think we better get started I feel like you know when you have like a really long intro and it's like oh yeah get on with it <laughs> get on with it right let's start with the palest colour first I don't even know what I'm doing we'll start with the palest colour first which is so saffron Mint macaron, they're more of a bluey colour. Oh, it's exciting when it's the first time you're playing with a new stamp set. Right, I keep looking over to see what there is. So, oh. Okay, so I'm going to space these out a little bit. And I've got two um, foam pads underneath because these aren't red rubber, you don't have the the spongy foamy depth now I'm going to I'm doing this quite uniform at the moment but I'm going to I'm twisting it I'm going to remember to try and twist my stamp because it does give it a little bit more of an organic feel to it I keep looking over my curtains you can probably hear my voice drifting off to the side of me let's lift you up just a touch Ooh, ah says Delinda <laughs> Okay, and then let's go in with the blue ones next. So let's clean this one off. Because there's some big, I should have had a print next to me, then you could see it. There's some bigger flowers, there's quite a lot of bigger flowers and there's a few smaller ones. So it's quite an interesting design, really. So with this kind of, um, these stamps are called dis is this a distinctive one? So you get these lovely layers within the within the stamps themselves. Now I'm going to space this one out because we do want to have other. I'm going to have it all slightly different. Good morning, South Australia. Good morning, Cindy. Now I didn't put any paper underneath, which usually means I'm going to get a smudge on my work. <laughs> Which wouldn't be me if I didn't have a smudge, to be honest. Ellie says she bought a lovely big white scarf in Sainsbury's last week, reduced to £3. It's cinnamon cider and they had bumblebee too. <laughs> Don't you just love talking in uh, stamping up colours? I'm just going to add a bit of blue over to this side here. Oh, we love it already. <laughs> I know, if I'm the queen of anything, it's the queen of smudges. Just what I want to be known as. 
Okay, so there's not many of the big grey ones, but there are a few, so I am going to add some grey. Now, the great thing about the photopolymer is you can see how much pressure you need to put on or how much pressure you've put on. Because it kind of goes from clear to being... I'll try and show you if I can. So, you, come, come and join me in the corner, look. If I put pressure on it, can you see it goes darker? Where I've stamped. Let's bring you back. I've just bought that fabric to make curtains for our caravan. Ooh. What, the same fabric as my curtains? I'm going a little bit slower because one, you want to make sure the ink is adhered to the paper, but two, I think because it's a new stamp set to me, I'm trying to get used to it. Well, it's not mine. You know, it's a new stamp set I'm borrowing. I'm just trying to get used to how it's it's working, if that makes sense. Okay, so there's a few small, actually they're small in all the colours. They're all, they're all small. So I'm going to dot a few of these around. I quite like the idea of clustering them. And I also like the fact that they're all slightly different, so no two flowers are going to be the same. <coughs> I had to smudge, but I covered it up. <laughs> oh, to Linda, that's very sweet. She says, Esther, you are very good at teaching informing of tips and techniques as you create and stamp. Do you know what? I don't realise I'm doing it, but um, I try and do it at the same time. So... Um, and also sometimes I think, oh, I'm repeating myself. They've heard this before. But you never know who's coming on for the first time. Some people, believe it or not, have never seen stamping before. And so I like to inform and to just let them know what I'm doing in case they're interested. And it is fascinating, you know, watching somebody create. I think it's quite amazing, really. That it's starting with a blank canvas and you're creating with that blank canvas. So, <laughs> that was close, I nearly let go. So, going in with our little yellows. Sometimes I think it's quite interesting. Today I recorded a video. And rather than doing a voiceover, I actually spoke as I was doing it. Oh my word, did I go on and on and repeat myself. I've edited it and it's fine. It's longer because it's quite a detailed tutorial. But it was quite interesting. Because <laughs> that's how I used to do my videos. I used to talk as I did them. And it makes such a difference. It's really interesting if you edit videos, how much you can actually cut out and when you're talking over it, how much you can speed forward. Sorry, yes, this is so saffron. I think it's definitely, it's a lovely colour, you know, it's a colour that's definitely forgotten and I don't use it enough. It's just one of those colours. So I've got so saffron and grey granite, which I think also gets forgotten. And I've teamed it with pool party. So I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm just looking again at my curtains just to see if there's anything else to add. Now, we're going to come in with the black. Uh, memento. Uh, Shirley says that's how she does yours. You don't edit. Yeah, it's <laughs> it makes it very difficult. I'm, it it's kind of took me back to when I used to um, do that. Right. So let me just have a quick look. I'm going to do all the centres. Then I don't need to concentrate too much. Um, some of them have got straight. The bigger ones got straight stalks. Now, what did I want this one for? The smaller flowers. Okay, let's let's get laying down and see what we've got. In fact, the stalks generally go in this direction, so I'm going to turn this. Sorry, I'm I am talking, but because I'm just trying to follow the design. So this is going to make such a difference because it's that pop of black. So just give me give it a chance because remember it's got to build up. It's not going to look like this in the end. This is that awkward middle process. 
of going, oh, I don't like it. <laughs> but remember, you've got to trust that process because, do you remember, this is the halfway through. The, the cake is not baked yet, folks. The cake is not baked. Um, you can't take a cake out of the oven and go, oh, I don't like it because it's not done yet. So, right. Um, Ellie says that's why I need to learn how to do voiceovers. This is a happy colour combo, says Delinda. Okay, uh, Michaela says she's not sure she likes grey granite. Again, it depends what you team it with. A bit of grey granite, cinnamon cider and calypso coral might be nice together. Now I've mastered it, you will see next Sunday. Oh, that's exciting, Ellie. She's mastered the voiceover. So I'm going to use this one. It looks like a little smiley face. Let me just see what this looks like. I'm a bit scared to stamp it because it's got those two little funny... I think it's got something that probably goes with it. So let's... Oh, it looks like a happy flower. That's cute. Um... Oh, well done. Um, Ellie's been mastering voiceovers. Welcome, Carol. Lovely to see you. So we are going to go back in and do the centres of those bigger flowers in a minute. Just going to get all these stems done. So I'm inking up each time. Sometimes when you do stamping, you can afford to stamp again with the ink on your stamp. But because I'm making this quite a bold design, I'm going in each time my ink let's bring it a bit closer to the project so I don't have to reach so far every time <laughs> um, Delinda says that stamp is truly a stick person look at it it's like two little eyes very I totally missed over there but never mind it's because I was reaching at a funny angle okay use that one use that one use that one let's get this centers done and I can't wait to get the leaves on. It's quite exciting. I should I should take a photograph of it next to my curtains. Oh, that's cute. Naveen says, I see a crowd of happy faces. This would look really nice in other colours too. Okay, you know I said this wasn't gonna this wasn't on top of my list of stamps. <laughs> Don't tell Ruth, she'll just have to eat my words. <laughs> I said to Ruth, yeah, I'm not sure about this stamp set. <laughs> Dina Rico, if you ever come across this video, I apologise. I'm actually falling in love with your stamp set now. <laughs> you overlay the dots onto that stem. What, this? No. On that stem there. There's no rules. You could do what you like. <laughs> Looks like someone has drawn on the wallpaper. <laughs> Wait, not finished yet. <laughs> oh, Kay wants this one too. Okay, so looking at my curtains again, the bigger open... Oh, just when I think there's a rule, there's not. I was going to say the bigger open flowers have the leaves, but that's not always the case. Some of the little ones do also. Oh, and I thought all of them were to the left, but some of them are to the right as well. None that they've all they've only got a single leaf though. Just gonna mix it up a little bit. Some of the small ones have leaves. But not all of them have. It's really interesting. When you study a print, it's just quite fascinating to take on board what goes into the design of, 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 of a print. And because although ultimately the pattern will be repeating, this actually looks like a lot of thought has gone into the design of the of a print the leaf stamp could be an eye of a frog whoa 
getting all deep on me now. It's, it's like a psychologist, psychi which one is it? Psychiatrist or psychology? No, psychiatrist, is it? You know, that whole thing where it's like, can you see the butterfly, that thing? Right. Let's have another look at my curtains. Um, I think, I think I'm there. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> we don't always see everything, do we? Yeah, it's really interesting. Really interesting concept. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pam says there's a dot stamp in the set that will overlay the smiley face. I think I found it. Okay. Um, now, for the sake of the fact that I wanted to look my, like my curtains, I'm going to stop there. That's cute as well, actually. But look, we can have a play. We can still play. I wonder if you show this to your family, they'll recognise curtains. <laughs> right, are you ready? I'm going to take you over. Oh, oh, oh. See, no difference. <laughs> How fun is that? Okay, there are going to be differences, but you know. Hi, Paula, welcome. The image directly above the stem. Yes, the little bobbly one in the stamp set. I'll show you guys in a minute. So look at that. No, it's not exactly the same because it's not the same shape, okay? But that isn't bad, is it? I can't believe how similar it is. Um, definitely grey granite. Okay, the blue isn't quite spot on, but there you go. So sorry if I'm making you seasick. Oh, thank you, Ellie. She says, I don't think you can get much closer. Um, Janice has to go. Oh, bye, Janice. Thank you. Frame it, says Shirley. I could have a bit more happy. I could have happy all over it. I'm just like a big happy in the middle. <laughs> okay, that was so much fun. I really enjoyed that. Isn't that amazing? You just think, I wouldn't have thought I'd be so happy to make something that looks like my curtains. But there you go, my curtains make me happy. And so does that. Each week I'll just bring you what I'm inspired by. <laughs> Maybe I could do that. Last week I was inspired by my mug. And this time I was inspired by my curtains. It wasn't my idea, so I can't take credit. But somebody did suggest it. It does look quite retro, doesn't it? This would be really fun in a different colourway, wouldn't it? Like browns and things. So, um, they were saying that this matches this. And we've got all these dots and things. How exciting. Oh, Delinda, sorry to hear that. You've got a hubby in hospital. He had a stroke. Oh, Janice, sending prayers for your husband. So sorry to hear that. I hope you... Do they cover next week, says Shirley. That's a good idea. Ellie says, most of the things I do are inspired by things I see at home. Yeah, those who go into prayer, who pray, please consider praying for Delinda's husband. Oh, that's boring, Ellie. My duvet cover would be easy. It's just plain dark red, she says. Okay, let's... Shall we have a plan? I want some new colours. Do you guys want to pick some colours? I'm going to entrust you to pick some colours. And I'm going to clean these off while you... Now, don't worry if you don't know the Stampin' Up! colours. You can say a certain colour and I'll give you a choice. Okay? So please don't worry if you're watching and go, well, I don't know all the colours. You don't have to know them to be able to ask for a colour. As long as you know the colours of the rainbow, then you'll be fine. Yeah, Mini Mate's husband, Janice. Misty Moonlight, the first colours in, folks. The first colours in. Let's move this out of the way. Oh, just so happens my Strawberry Workshop details are there, in case you want to know about those. <laughs> right, Misty Moonlight. Oh, it's just Jade and Smoky Slate. Light of Navy and Calypso. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. I asked for colours, they're not ready. Misty. Just Jade, Gorgeous Grape, Night of Smoky Slate, Night of Navy, Calypso. Um, if I grab out 
one colour from there. Magenta or gorgeous. I've got gorgeous grape. Where's magenta? Oh, magenta. Where's magenta? Okay, hold on. I do need some new colour. Um, I'll go smoky slate and light of navy. Might be too many colours, we shall see. A bit brave asking you a lot, wasn't I? Not done that in a while. Let's have a look. Night of Navy. I'm trying to update my ink pad so that I've got all the same Night of Navy's. I might at the bottom of the sorry folks, just trying to grab out the colours. Okay, that's an interesting combination. Very interesting. Did I miss any? Okay, so we've got some blues, pinks, green and the grey. Okay. The public have spoken. Oh, no worries, Pamela. Have a good supper. Right, just give me a moment to lay these out. Oh, what's happening? The echo's bleeping at me. Oh, there goes the avalanche. Right, quite like these cute little berries. Let's bring in this one. Okay. <laughs> Not sure how this is going to go, but we're going to see. Now, forgive me if I stain your ink, your stamps, Claire. Okay, I'm envisaging that. So maybe we could do some blue flowers. Okay. I'm going to do something a bit different and see if we can. Okay, let's just go for it. Are they their foam pads? Yes, these are, uh, they're called piercing mats. So you can use them for making holes in your work. Or um, they're just a good stable for uh, particularly photopolymer stamps to give you a bit of a cushion. He's eating a twirl in front of you. Oh, Ellie. Look away, look at my stamping instead. Okay, so I'm going for a loose cross shape. Like so. And I'm going for the largest flower just to lay something down. Now sometimes, I know that if Ruth does this, she does a bit of a, a background first, which actually is quite helpful sometimes. I might do that, let's do that follow her guidance so sometimes a white sheet can be quite scary um, when you're faced with it so I'm going to go in and just put in and I'm stamping twice some grey flowers and these might get covered up a little bit and that's okay but this is like the background work Don't forget also, just give your stamps a little turn as you go, because it just makes it a little bit more organic. Oh, let's just take off the notifications. Hold on, bear with me a second. It, dip, dip, dip. Okay. 
So where were we? Yeah, so they have a loose, loose cross. I'm kind of going all over the place. Smoky slate goes with so many colours. Yeah, this, I mean, that with Misty Moonlight make a nice masculine colours. So I tend to, if I've used the stamp and a colour, I'm just putting it off to the side so I know I've used it. Now, I want to come in with... Let's let's carry on with the Knight of the Navy. Then. I'm going to have this colour by itself initially. I might do something else in a minute, but building up, remember. And I'm following that cross shape. Leaving gaps because I want space for other colours. <laughs> Cindy loves it already. <laughs> yes, Ellie, I would say that you are, you like masculine colours, the autumnal, regal type colours. Now, I'm going to sp splash a bit of hot pink into this. This is Magenta Madness. I'm wondering if it would be a bit floaty if I just do the berries. But let's see. I might stamp these again so that they... But you can afford to stamp these a few times. It tones that pink down a bit. Oh, Paula. Was it Paula that said that? Yeah. So nice that you could be here. Oh, Ellie's been scared off by the pink. <laughs> Only just got what you said, Ellie. I was like, <laughs> I thought it was to do with the twirl. <laughs> now, now, Ellie, you've used this pink recently. And it's a colour that, again, you know, I've neglected this colour a little bit recently, so it's quite nice to use it again. We're not finished, so trust the process. Now, I've not, I want to bring in that lined... I might be brave and I'm not always a fan of the lined um, stamps but let's let's go for this and see I'm very proud of you for using pink knowing that you are you just said that you know well like you said your colors more masculine but then today you said you like gorgeous grapes so that surprised me What's fun about this is that they're nice, big, bold flowers. So great for not only beginners, great for maybe children that like to do crafts. Because you can't go too wrong with big, bold flowers, let's face it. Okay. This is definitely not colours I would have picked out just spotted the tiny cutest little dots oh they're so cute right i'm gonna stick that on here for later and i quite like you as well <laughs> ellie likes to think she's got a foot in each camp <laughs> yeah ellie's on my team <laughs> Right, leaf time. I might have to use the smaller leaves. Um, in, it's really tricky to get inside here. So I might have to use that the smaller leaves for those bits. Nothing wrong with being a groupie, Delinda, particularly as dedicated as you are. You can be my groupie any day. So green bringing it that splash of colour. Um, this is where I start running out of blocks. Let's move the, <laughs> the one that looks like a little bit like a virus. Oh, funny story. Um, so we showed the children a video about at school about coronavirus 
good few weeks ago just to kind of update them and um, it was a nice story um, just to kind of relay the fact that you know this is happening why it's happening stuff like that it was, it was done really nicely and um, <laughs> the children were playing outside and one of them found a like a, a seed pod which looked very similar to that stamp that I just showed you a bit like that like a spiky seed pod and all I could hear him say well, I, I didn't know that that's what he had at the time I could hear him say I've, I've got a virus I've got the virus and I was like what's he on about what's he doing what does he mean he's got the virus so I went over to check on what they were playing and he had this seed pod in this in like a saucer or like a plant um saucer thing <laughs> I thought it was quite funny I was like, yeah, but it doesn't, it's not going to be that big. It's not, a, you know, it's not, you do you know that, you know, the virus isn't, that that isn't a virus. That's just a seed. You know, you don't have to be scared of that type of thing. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, hello, Miss El Spoonos. Nice to see you. We've branched out from my curtains, as you can tell. Something a bit different. So now I'm just looking for gaps, basically. Bridging those gaps. Right. So now's the time to stand back and go, right, the first colour we used was that blue. And although we've got those big, bold blue flowers, now we want to bring that blue back in and introduce it again to the party and go, yeah, you know, we, we still remember you. Haven't forgotten you. Oh, that's so cute. Got a little smudge we're going to just incorporate some in, you know, the trouble with just doing stuff on the outside, sometimes it looks as if it's sort of a bit lost. Whereas if you actually incorporate it into the design a bit more, it, doesn't look, it looks as if it's part of the crowd, you know. With a flower arrangement, you wouldn't just stick stuff on the outside. You'd, um, you know, mix it in. Oh, you could put them in the middle. There we go. I'm late, I'm late. I'm late to the game tonight, says Barbie. Hey, Bruce. Your ears burning, I mentioned you earlier. <laughs> so this is the viewer's choice of colours, in case you were wondering about the wacky colour scheme. Let's make sure we... Some over here. Okay. I think I'm nearly done. Take a step back, have a look. Okay, we could maybe have a little bit more of the the navy and the grey. So I'm gonna be bold. Be bold, be strong. Oh, the Lord our God is with you. Right, I'm going to go in with some navy. Just a hint of this one. Mm, go on then. Feeling a bit brave. You can get quite a lot out of this colour. When you start doing this kind of stamping, you kind of you don't. I can see what Ruth means. You don't want to stop. You want to just keep going. Oh, hello, Heidi. Makes an entrance with her beautiful rainbow colour emojis. <laughs> oh, you think of the same song, Shirley? Barbie, did you say that? It, do you think it looks like a virus? <laughs> okay, I think I think I'm done. I want to cut this up and stick the word happy in it. Sending lots of happy for you. That's cute. I like these sentiments. My curtain inspiration. I'll just give you. Sorry, I'm knocking the. Look, look how different it is. Same stamp set. Different look. Whoa! Viewer's choice. Curtain's choice. <laughs> okay. 
See, it's those blues and purples. You guys love your blues and purples. Okay, time to chippity chop bar. Could do with taking a photo, really. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to get my camera. Why is that the way, people? Completely different, right, Ellie? Say cheese. Okay, bringing you down and down. Let's chop this in off. So chopping at ten and a half or ten and a half for those of you with proper English. Paula says, I'd like to see the ways that the magenta madness gets used because it's so bright. Let me show you a card that I use magenta madness on. So if you are on Facebook and you didn't see my live earlier, I, was, um, I didn't make this, but I was showing this one off earlier. And I love the pop of pink against the black and white. I think it's really fun colour. What would be nice to do um, really bright colours. So like magenta and pumpkin pie and coastal cabana, gorgeous grape, those sort of colours. Right, then cut this in half, where are we, 15.85, okay, so there we go, we've got that lovely corner in each to play with, oh that's interesting. Where did those smudges come from? They weren't there a minute ago. Where did that come from? Right, I'm going to cut these down again. They're a little bit too big to go on a card. Oh, why is that not straight? Right, it doesn't matter. Five and five eighths, which is 14.8 three centimetres by three and seven eighths or nine point eight centimetres I'm going to pull out my wire in the hope that my phone's got enough charge because I keep knocking it. Okay, so let's have a look at these. It's going to annoy me with those smudges. I could even have it that way around. That one's really straight. I don't know why that's so straight. Okay, well, we'll do that one like that. That one like that. Okay. Hi Vicky. Okay, you're miles away now. Let's get another. Right, I like the idea of having the bold happy and then having the other colours around it so Cindy's trying to finish up 70 cards whoa I love the font on here something feeling happy Oh, 
That's so nice. Oh dear, it's nice. <laughs> Let's cover up some of those bibbers. Loving the font, I must say. And that white space doesn't matter anymore because we're filling it. <laughs> a little bit of a hard press there. Oh well, right. So now I want to um happy birthday. You make me sending lots of happy sending. You make me happy. Happy for you. Oh, that's too many choices. Right, let's think about this. Sending sending lots of happy. I like that. You make me happy. Sending lots of happy. Now, the plan was to do something on either side, but that's not going to... Oh, well. Sending lots of happy. You make me happy. Sending lots of happy. I'm just thinking about what context I might um, use it in. That's why I'm hesitating. Sending lots of happy. Now, I was going to use pink, but that's quite a bold colour. So, navy and purple can, can be quite nice together. Don't always like blue and purple together, but there we go. Sending lots of happy. Oh, sorry, were you asking about the colours? I got asked this week to make a set of cards with babushka dolls on. How exciting. Can you do it? I did a drawing with babushka dolls on it. So sending lots of happy. That's just nice as it is, happy. Happy for you. So let's, oh, let's stick that one in. Sorry, am I off screen? Totally busy watching other things and not... Yeah, this is gorgeous grape. Sending lots of happy. Are you listening to me, Linda? I just Let's do just sending lots... We're sending lots of happy out there right now, you know? <laughs> Mm. Could do with something underneath. There is always ribbon, Esther. I can... Oh, I'm off screen again. Sorry. Just shout at me, okay? In a nice way. <laughs> oh, you got an idea? Oh, that'd be. Oh, babushka. I like babushka dolls. Right. So, thinking. <laughs> That I'm going to grab out my misty moonlight. I want to do a little bit of splatterage. Linda, don't look. Is it Linda? No. Who likes the splatters? Um... Oh, come on. Who is it that likes the splatters? We need lots of happy. Look at the difference. Just a little bit of dots. It wasn't it wasn't to Linda, it was somebody else. You would have happy done the happy in pink. Not saying you should, but you were saying it's so bright. Yeah, I wanted something I was gonna use pink for the other bit of the sentiment but sometimes it's like this glenna thank you that's who i was thinking of sometimes it just 
because I think this one was the first one I did and it had a lot of pink on it so I didn't want your eye to be drawn to the pink whereas the blue seems to be the Knight of Navy is quite a neutral colour so the splatters just help to break it up a bit right okay so I end up cutting this one not my curtain one <laughs> let's have a look at the pretty card it's always the card that I don't have cut up that I need. So I have got magenta. Are you ready? Yes, it's a stamping blend. Yep. So I'm using the brush end. Now, can I just say that I did see somebody the other day demo that technique and they use their cap to flick the ink, which you can do. And I've done it with my um stamp and write pen so these pens are like the same ink that you'd find in ink pads and you could do the same with that is to flick it now you could probably get away with doing it with this type of nib but if you do it exactly Ellie, ellie's got it you'll damage the, the nib if you keep flicking these and um i know from experience so you don't really want to flick it that's why i hit it over a hard block and it gives you the same um kind of look hi welcome Michaela nice to see you okay so um that's the magenta let's see what this looks like on misty moonlight there'll be moonlight you know you guys picked out three in colors is that deliberate quite like that Michaela, meet Michaela. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Uh, what other colours have we got? Gorgeous grape and just jade and grey granite. I thought I saw some grey granite in here earlier. Is that grey granite? Just out of interest on a more neutral background. Um... So gorgeous grape I've got cut up. And um, what's the other colour? Navy. Oh, let's. I've got navy. That's nice. So let's get gorgeous grape out because I'm keen to know what that would look like instead of that one. It's quite nice to have them all in a different, have a different version of. Oh, just jade. Thank you. Um, so that one, I did actually buy some more Just Jade because I was, it's a colour I didn't think I'd use a lot of when I did, um, I was running low, so I did decide to invest. Oh, the, <laughs> yeah, it's so much easier to have, um, have some pre-cut cards, although I'm terrible because I use them and then I don't replace them and I say to myself, right, when you're cutting cards, just cut a few more. And you've got it ready in your pot. So I tend to like my cards to be that way around, um, tend to fold rather than the other way. So can I just say a warm welcome to those who are new to my channel and if you click the live chat, I am live at the moment, you are actually watching me live doing this. So if you're feeling brave, <laughs> please feel free to speak up and say hi, I'm watching for the first time and let us know where you're watching from because it's always exciting to hear where people are watching from. And let us know if you're a crafter, you might not be, you might be just somebody that's stumbled across my channel so let's have a look at this i want to put this on just jade that's nice that's nice and neutral hi christine and let's try one on gorgeous grape yeah i think i prefer the navy the moonlight and dancing there we go right Could always change that one up. Mm. 
Hmm, maybe that one. The rest of us will ask you all kinds of questions to the newbies. Cindy, stop putting them off. <laughs> Hi, Becky. Welcome. Right, so this whole live, I'm just going to say, started with my curtains. And this was the inspiration because I'm playing with a stamp set that I'm borrowing. But you can actually purchase it at my shop. And this is what my customer did. They purchased it and I borrowed it off them. Uh, this is called Pretty Perennials. This is a great starter stamp set. In fact, it's great for any kind of crafter. Great for the beginner. Great for the casual. Great for the avid. So think about what category you might fall in into and this stamp set is great for you just a simple little flat you know what i'm tempted to do more i might do some more in a minute um so welcome welcome got to go share so did got to go night shirley okay so that's how it started and then i said hey guess what pick some colors and you did and this is what we've come up with those colors so we stamped a whole sheet chopped it up into four and we've got this so now's the time this is the fun bit where you get to vote on you can vote on which color way you like the best so one two three four <laughs> ellie says that's sneaky get your customers to buy something so you can borrow it well the advantage is i get to show you i get to play with it and i get to go yeah i definitely want that now so actually <laughs> it works to my disadvantage because i now want to buy it so We've got the votes in for number three and four. We've got Cindy in with number one and four. Carol's come in with number two. Any more advances, please? We've got Edith going straight in for Magenta Madness. Delinda likes number three, but she likes them all. Barbie's going for number three on the Just Jade. Michaela is going for number two, Magenta Madness, and Carol likes a touch of purple with number four. Paula Loves Art is going for one and two, with Becky going in with number two. Joanna comes in with number four, and Celia steals it at number three. Deb, welcome Deb, not seen your name before, comes in, she likes the purple at number four. Paula Loves Art is going all for one, two, three and four in that order. Did you end up with Misty or, or Navy? This one's Misty. Misty Moonlight. Warm well, welcome to Deb, everybody, please. And do shout if you're new. Exactly, Michaela. It's nice just to see how they work on different backgrounds. Mindy's peaking at number three and she's coming with the Just Jade. Thank you. I want to just show you a really quick, simple card because I want to show you that if you're new, it's like listening to the football pools. <laughs> if you're new, let me put this in order then. Okay, then I know. Oh, Christy's coming in with two and three last minute. Thank you, Deb. Welcome to Christy. I've not seen your name before. <laughs> yep, yeah, doing the horse race is my, this is my other, you know, my, uh, what's the word? Oh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Oh, God. Right, I want to show you a very simple, something simple. So I'm going to stick with my Knight of Navy. Oh. Right, what card shall we make this? Let's have a think. Happy mail for you. Happy for you. Happy for you. You make me happy. Um, right, two. Happy middle. Oh, you stumbled across my video this afternoon. Ah, oh, great, Deb. Lovely to see you. Where are you based? Celia, welcome. Are you new as well? Lovely to have everybody on. Right, I was going to do something super simple. We're going to go... Why even? Just had another idea. Even more simple. That's a good question. When people are on, we can find out what their favourite colours are. Sharon's a little bit late. Sharon, we're coming to the end, love. <laughs> Never mind, it's nice to see you. Oh, thank you, Delinda. Give me this tiny little leaf. 
I'm getting thirsty, I need my cup of tea. <clears throat> and I'm going to stick that on the side. Oh, so sweet. Um, and I think I'm going to leave it there. Can you believe it? <laughs> Let's have you make me happy. And I think we'll come back with the navy. Thank you to Linda for rallying the troops. Oh, what's happened to my screen? Oh, thank you. Yep. Thumbs up is a free way of showing your appreciation. Commenting shows that you really love me. <laughs> Actually, you know, commenting shows me you like me a bit more. <laughs> Super chats means you really love me. <laughs> Linda's almost home. You're on her street and she'll have to watch it all in a rewind. So you, all that talk, you'll have to go back and watch and go, right, what was, what was she making? And do you know what? I'm going to step away from the... I'm going to step away. I am... How simple it is to make a super, super simple card. Oh, <laughs> Vicky must really, really love me. She just super chatted. This is where I end up smudging. Thank you, Vicky. You're so kind. Oh, Barbie. <laughs> Barbie must really love me too. Thank you, guys. Honestly, Super Chat is not compulsory. Just saying. Um, right. But one way in which I'd be tempted to step it up in a tiny, weeny way would be to... And I think Ruth did this on a video recently. So I'm going to just steal it from her. I'm just going to put a few score lines around the edges just so that there's a bit of a border and this is probably where I'm going to smudge it because you know this is so unlike me I'm just saying Paula says that card makes me happy oh Barbie says so simple but oh so effective and lovely look at that who needs more than you know just a simples No, I'd be so tempted to add something to this. <laughs> Very difficult at leaving things alone. So quick, move it out of the way before I add something to it. Now, just, now I will wrap up, but I just want to say that, oh look, I've got all these pretty ribbons in here. I'd be tempted now to go ahead and add maybe a little bow. Uh, where's this pink one? picking it up putting it down to add a little bow or some ribbon I know Barbie I don't know how to leave white space I, I find it very difficult score lines I'm making it like a football game <laughs> that's funny Kay likes white space I did that one year with Christmas cards scored around the edges it's a simple way of just um Okay, my my um my bow game is not happening tonight. My football game is, but my bow. Come on. We're live on YouTube now. Is not the time to be playing up. What is wrong with you? Behave. Third time's a trick. Thank you. That's better. You're trying to finish the sentence. What did, do I keep stopping my sentences? There, look. Are you waiting to come on, Ruth? Sorry, I feel like I'm taking up all the airtime. So, yeah, you can add little... Sending lots of happy germs. <laughs> 
Oh dear. I just gave in and got Rococo Rose cardstock, even though it'll be gone soon. There's just too many sets and cards to make from the um to make from it in the new catalogue. Sending you lots of socks. <laughs> Sending lots of chocolate. Right, Ruth, are you ready to come on? Am I totally taking up all the airtime? I'm only tying bows now, everybody. Albeit very, uh, what's the word? Not very well. I think the bow just brings more happiness. Happy bows, happy toes. I don't know what I'm saying now. It's becoming silly hour. Right, we'll do one more bow and then I'll better stop. Oh dear. Sending happy shoes. What are you on? What what have you been drinking tonight, Ruth? Right. You want to wrap the bow around and pass it through so that it still remains flat. Like that. I will return because I like what I see with this bundle. Happy mushroom. <laughs> we could. What you should do is like grab another stamp set with lots of words and put it together. Just trying to think if there's any. There we go. Right. Okay. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay, lovely people of YouTube world, lovely to see you, albeit virtually. So nice to have your company. This is the face behind the silly voice. <laughs> Not the silly voice, the voice. It is a voice. It is my voice. Bows are a great addition. Love a little bow. Can't go wrong. Can't believe I made a card like that. I'm gonna to have to stick it before I add more to it. <laughs> okay, so Ruth and Tom need to get the after eight out. Oh yes. You are so welcome. Thank you. Thank you for sticking with me for this mammoth live. We are now watching the voice with you sing. <laughs> no, because I might get done in by YouTube. Wishing you a lovely evening, good night together. Thank you, Michaela. It's so lovely to have you. Don't forget, if you subscribe to my channel and press the bell button, then it will give you a ping or a notification when I'm I'm going live again. So please, and it will any of my um, video uploads. So please do subscribe. But don't forget, do it now before you forget. Take care, everybody. Oh, Paula, thank you. Now you can all follow me over to my sister's channel. Um, I feel like she created the One Sheet Wonder. So what you've seen tonight has only been inspired by what she's been creating and what she does. So there she is, Artful Stampin' with Ruth. She's my eldest sister. And um, we are not only sisters, but we're on the same team. So if you're interested in knowing more about the products, if you'd like to shop with me, if you'd like to know more about coming on my team, then please do get in touch. Take care. God bless you all. Good night. Mwah. Kisses all around. And um, take care. See you hopefully over on Ruth's channel now. Bye. Thanks, Kay. Thank you, Ruth. Bye.